इतिहास यात्रे मान गुजरात लाभी डिस्कस करेगा तो पीजेबी पर आरोपी तकान सेवेन स्ट्रेट टर्म निम्ते एक तार रिकॉर्ड सेट करेगा ऐसे गुजरात है तो एक्जिट पूल पर जाना इतिहास निश्चित ही पीजेबी तो गुजरात है तकान लगा थैंग आरो रखी बोले निश्चित दिखिया से बिकॉज़ दे हैव ऑलरेडी ट्रेंड्स हिसाब ते कुआ हिसाब ते दे हैव ऑलरेडी स्टूड अ मार्क ऑफ वन फिफ्टी ओवर वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मार्क स ताकान जीती बोले ऐसे कोई क्या ना ऐसे सो ओब्वियसली आज ये इटू इलेक्शन रिजल्ट दे जीती शक्कर ले काली तो स्वेरिंग इन सेरिमनी ऑफ ऑल द पार्टी लगा हेड कान की की होगा गुजराते इटू लगा डिस्कस करूं बोले ऐसे आरो इटू पिछे दे उमान यात्रे साइज़ शक्कर ले गुजराते ही आप कान प्राताकान they have done they could not sweep away uh, Gujarat like they did in Punjab now uh, we will also be discussing about Himachal Pradesh but before we get into that uh, Gujarat Laga straight discuss Kuriba because Gujarat is a home state for uh, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it will Gujarat te tai jiti kwele tan party pra jiti kwele it will make a straight way for him for our uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, Towards 2024, next term nimite tai laga government to aro set kuri kena jawale ase. So Gujarat is very important. Of course, Himachal Pradesh be important ase. But then, if we look into Gujarat, Bharatiya Janata Party laga win prahi. Tai kan 2024 te tan government form kuri bo na no kuri bo itu do dikha wale ase. So viewers, one. साइज़ शो के लिए 158 सीट्स प्रा पीजेपी तो लीड करिया से एंड आल्सो आप कान इमान दूर दे दिखी पाया से आरो कांग्रेस पे ऑफ कोर्स दे वर नॉट एक्टिव इन गुजरात दे वर नॉट कम कैंपेनिंग बट दे वर दे आर आल्सो लीडिंग विथ 21 सीट्स को नाइट वी एक ता जनाई दिया से इनफॉरमेशन सो it do uh, this this uh, 158 seats per grill or PJP but this shows a straight record and then Congress laga 1985 record be bang ideas na PJP but where Congress won 150 seats but here PJP has set a new record by gaining over 158 seats so this is the latest trend hisab election commission of India par ithyadak chanai dia hisab te Bhatia Janta party is leading in Gujarat so as a uh, as party Chanda party look set for a record of seven straight term in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state of Gujarat with the party leading in 150 se 58 seats in the western state it has it has trends se so BJP pra 158 seats occupy Kurilwa Congress itiyadak only leading with 21 seats that's what the trend is showing so one Arobi Saigna Jawo with just under 20 seats there, Congress can uh, they are showing its worst uh, performance ever. And Am Adma Admi Party, or uh, as we call AAP, uh, which launched an aggressive campaign, Natahan campaign, Iman Dongor launched Kurishe. They were here and there everywhere in Gujarat talking about Am Admi Party, Kekta regional party, Thakado Taikan. Uh, they wanted to make it a national party, but sadly, Taikan Laga thing to only in Delhi. He and only in Punjab he did he paranishna ase. So it do in a thaki shekwele up utiana kwele. This is going to be the third cornered contest for the first time in Gujarat ase. And also this is yes this is making inroads for the Western state largely at Congress expense. So now we will. Uh, Look at the, those uh, uh, candidates who are saying uh, uh, whose speeches. Yes, yes. He, she, she has already won uh, men puri seats. Uh, so let's look and let's hear it from her. What she's saying. नरेंद्र मोदी जी हैं, अमित शाह जी हैं, सीआर पाटिल जी हैं, और डबल इंजन की सरकार के माध्यम से माननीय मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पे हम जिसे वापस देखेंगे, ऐसे हमारे वो पिंद्रबाई पटेल हैं, सीआर पाटिल जी, ये सब उनका जो एक संगठन की पूरी टीम, उनकी ताकत के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी के जामनगर के जितने भी सन्नि� आ, सहर्ष मेरा स्वीकार किया 
मेरे माध्यम से प्रत्याशी के रूप में वो जिस हिसाब से आगे बढ़ के काम किया लोगों लोगों सब लोगों तक पहुँच कर जनसंपर्क में इतना उत्साह दिखाकर और पूरे एक महीने की जो लगन जो मेहनत मैंने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता भाइयों बहनों में देखी तो मैं तहदिल उनका धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा आज मेरी नहीं हम सभी नहीं हम सभी की जीत हुई है और ये जीत मैं उनको क्रेडिट देना चाहूँगी कांग्रेस पार्टी आम आदमी लेकिन वोटर्स ने आखिरकार क्या निर्णय क्या मुद्दा क्या मुद्दे के ऊपर बीजेपी देखिए गुजरात में सत्ताईस साल के जनता पार्टी जिस हिसाब से कार्यरत है जिस हिसाब से विकास जिस हिसाब से विकास जो एक स्थापित किया है तो लोगों में कहीं ना कहीं ये था कि यही एक जो मॉडल है उन पर अब अविरत विकास की जो यात्रा है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ ही जुड़कर वो आगे बढ़ाना चाहेगी और ये नतीजा साफ है कि गुजरात की जनता भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ थी और आगे भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ रहेगी मोदी का चेहरा भी पूरे डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली यस 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 बिकॉज जिस हिसाब से सर ने उनका जो रोड शो चला ठीक है बत्तीस या पैंतीस किलोमीटर तक का जो रोड शो था और गुजरात का जो गुजरात की जनता पर जो हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी का एक इम्पैक्ट रहा है वो सी से लेके पी तक अभी तक उत्तरोत्तर उसमें जो बढ़त है So viewers let's discuss about Himachal Pradesh itu yate thiabe Himachal Pradesh te BJP pra set a record kribo if they win a Himachal Pradesh just like Gujarat te takan janishna but also itu 68 seat state te Himachal Pradesh te of course congress is leading its way now and then aap kan bhi ekta dui ta seats to chiti kira ase but then BJP what are they doing in Himachal Pradesh unlike in Gujarat is unexpected so uh, if we uh, talk about this exit pool pra khwa hisab uh, that pjp uh, will also lead in himachal pradesh is uh, not going as per the trend so uh, let's hope for the best but also man saikena jai shekwele himachal pradesh there however it has proved to be a face saver for congress which has taken a clear lead over the pjp after neck and neck contest after 5 hours of counting so counting to at baji pra shuru kori she aro etia tak laga trend hisab the election commission of india pra janai dia hisab the pjp pra congress the uh, is not leading but uh, congress is leading in himachal pradesh so poll outcome to ki hobo na jane but by chance pra congress ke uh, vote counting the harai dise aro bjp uti she kole that will be another record uh, for bjp in himachal pradesh and also ta ekhan pra idutan wapas ai bole pari she kole grant all party ke hatai dikena ta ekhan uh, thank to aro set kribo but if congress ai she kole grant all party ki laga revival hobo and then that they uh, they are going to extend their power they are going to extend their connectivity congress laga so man yet sai shukile itya tak gujarat te aap to panch ta seat dehi dekhi paya se but also himachal pradesh te aap laga bi iku bhal ekta effect ekta dekhi bolen na pari gena ase so that's what the trend is saying So viewers, uh, let's look into Himachal Pradesh. Congress set to dethrone PJP from power in Himachal. So if Congress set PJP ke hatai divo arata laga theng rakhi ke na ta mazboot program form kuna chawal ase. This was not expected because. Uh, मान एक्जिट पुल हिसाब से भी पीजेपी कन पर लीड कर कॉग्रेस पर भी नेक टू नेक टक्कर दी क्या उम्मीद तो कर कॉग्रेस निमित इतु उम्मीद अहा दो निमित बेस डांगर हम और तमित एक डांगर स्टेन्ड हम बिकज तन अनलैक दे आर डुईंग दे यात्रा पीजेपी पीजेपी खान पर केम्पेनिंग स्टेट दे भी इन कारा बजे से भी कॉग्रेस पर कुरा ना सो इतु आनएक्सपेक्टेड आई कई तो भी जाना दिए 
এটা এটু কোয়া হিসাবতে ট্রেন্ড কোয়া হিসাবতে গ্র্যান্ড অল পার্টি টেক্স ডিসেন্ট লিড ওভার পিজেপি সো হিমাচল প্রদেশ এটা কংগ্রেস পুরা লিড করে আছে একই কিনা এই জানাই আছে সো এটা ভোট কাউন্টিং তো যে আছে আর ওয়ান পুরা জানিয়ার নিচিনা কংগ্রেস পুরা লিড করে আছে সো দে আর লিডিং ইন ফর্টি সিটস এন্ড পিজেপি অনলি ইন টুয়েন্টি ফাইভ সিটস পিজেপি পুরা এটা তাকে মেজরিটি ক্রস তো করবলে না পারি কিনা আছে বাট কংগ্রেস দে হ্যাভ অলরেডি মার্কড ইটস দান লাগা ভিক্টরি তো মার্ক করে কিনা যাই আছে ওয়েল কেজরিওয়াল লাগা মেজিক তো হিমাচল প্রদেশ তো ফেল করি না আম আদমি পার্টি পুরা পঞ্জাব সুইপ করার নিচিনা টান করবলে পারা নাই So viewers, let's look into this visual now. This is very contrasting because uh, Gujarat uh, Ahmedabad today, Congress workers are, party workers are protesting in front of Congress party office. So this is absolutely not expected because uh, they are already Yes, they are already they can bra hari gina jai ase Gujarat te but then uh, inaga protest kurble thaka to umid krana and they are protesting because Congress pra uh, uh, Gujarat te jitya nai so let's look into it Emne bhi misguide kari raha je a logo emne hi aawa nahi deta a logo em pase koi strategy nahi a logo pase koi vision nahi a logo chutni ladwa ma deta ban ikri ja je andar andar 15 seat ho lai lau 15 seat ho lai lau bas thai gayu सत्ताईस साल से गुजरात कांग्रेस के अंदर कांग्रेस का शासन नहीं है ठीक है एक बार दो बार तीन बार चार बार पांच बार घड़ियाल लगा के रखिए लास्ट एक महीने से कार्यकर्ताओं को बेवकूफ बनाने के लिए कि सत्ता परिवर्तन में हमारे पास एक महीना बचा है एक महीना पूरा हो गया आज आपने रिजल्ट देख लिया ठीक है ये सारा जो मामला बना है गुजरात के अंदर उसकी सिर्फ और सिर्फ जवाबदार गुजरात कांग्रेस के नेतृत्व है कांग्रेस से मेरी नाराजगी नहीं है कांग्रेस आला कमांड से मेरी नाराजगी नहीं है कांग्रेस पार्टी से मेरी नाराजगी नहीं है कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता से मेरी नाराजगी नहीं है मैं खुद एक कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता हूँ इसके पहले वाले कॉर्पोरेशन के इलेक्शन में एमआईएम वाले तीन मैंडेट लेके मेरे पास आए बेरामपुर से लड़ो कांग्रेस के सामने मैं इलेक्शन नहीं लड़ा आज मेरे को जमालपुर से आम आदमी पार्टी टिकट दे रही थी मैं इलेक्शन नहीं लड़ा कांग्रेस के लिए कांग्रेस से कार्यकर्ता को क्या मिल रहा है आज सत्ता है मेरी जिंदगी निकल गई है वही नेता वही नेतृत्व उसमें कोई परिवर्तन नहीं अंदर अंदर की भाग बटाई है पंद्रह टिकट ढूंढ ला लो बीस टिकट ढूंढ ला लो So viewers, it will result soft to the states laga. Ami kan one laga desk pra one laga colleague dependu chakra body logo te khoda kribo. Well, he will be uh, giving us an elaborate on what is happening in the two state results. So let's hear it from him. Yes, dependu what's happening uh, right now at uh, Gujarat and in Himachal Pradesh. It's a very big day as far as BJP government is concerned. Why I'm saying is this because BJP is often a time since they've claimed power in 2014. They have said that they want to establish the government across all the states in India. And as far as Gujarat, which is the home state of Union Home Minister and including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is a matter of pride for them. So they have you know, fueled their maximum power energy into the state elections there was a massive road show by prime minister covering 50 kilometers across the state of gujarat so now uh, he you know he he has he has you know he has he has you know uh, maximized his effort so to you know convince the voters that the people of gujarat should vote for bjp government and the bjp double engine government will run 
the state and uh, it will usher to the developments and somehow it seems that people of Gujarat have kept their faith on BJP government as BJP is coming to power for seventh consecutive term. You, you know that re the reign that started before Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi came, then he elevated as a nation's PM. But the BJP ruling uh, government is still continuing strong in Gujarat and for the sec seventh consecutive term, BJP is returning to power as far as the uh, trends and analysis are going on. Uh, as far as the latest results, as you have mentioned to our viewers, BJP is significantly ahead by 157 to 158 seats. These are not final results. Within a while, the uh, actual figure will come out. But there can be a plus minus of one or two seats. But it's almost certain and almost everybody is evident that BJP is claiming to power and they are ruling, forming the government. In fact, uh, BJP state Gujarat chief C.R. Patil has in fact announced that on 12 December 2 p.m., uh, the BJP government, led by Bhupender Patel, will take oath. So they have immediately announced that around 2 p.m., 12 December, I'm once again reminding our viewers that the BJP government will take oath in Ahmedabad, and they have thanked the Gujarat BJP, in fact, elated over the results, have thanked Prime Minister Modi for his extensive campaign in Gujarat. So, as I said, uh, Modi magic, you can say, is still continuing uh, to uh, convince the voters of Gujarat and especially this time one more significant uh, development that we have witnessed is that traditionally the Patidar region are, are, are stronghold for Congress and they you know significantly over the last few elections have you know, gathered a significant amount of seats but this time this is the uh, worst possible sh show by Congress you know as, uh, as, uh, as far as the latest trends are telling us go they are only ahead in 15 seats. So this is the worst uh, performance of Congress, the grand old party of Indian politics in Gujarat. And the BJP wave has completely blown uh, the uh, grand old party, although there, is, there was a change uh, as far as Congress guard is concerned. A few months ago, a few days ago, Malik Arjun Kharge took charge. Rahul Gandhi was not present in Gujarat uh, election campaigns. He was busy in Bharat Joro Yatra and in the entire region, but he was not to be seen in Gujarat. However, on the contrast, on the other hand, BJP uh, uh, put their maximum efforts. They, uh, you, know, you, they, you can see uh, Amit Shah, you can see JP Nadda, you can see PM uh, Modi. All the top leaders of BJP campaigned extensively in the uh, 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 Gujarat Assembly elections. And as a result, they have once again managed to you know, draw the voters to their side. And this time, they are doing much better. You know, the, mar the majority mark is 92. However, at present, they are well over 155 seats. So definitely, it's a huge, huge bonus for BJP. But uh, the other picture, the other side of these polls is we have to now shift to Himachal Pradesh, which was a BJP ruling state, Jairam Thakur being the chief minister. But however, this time, the anti-incumbent factor, you can say, uh, has uh, gone against BJP. And Congress somehow has, uh, no, they have saved their face and they are almost set to become uh, from the uh, government in Himachal Pradesh. And this would be the third state after Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh where they will claim to power. And this is, this is a, you can say, a kind of a relief for Congress who is at present rulingly, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, they are, you know, they are reeling in a very, uh, in, a, in a such condition where they need to revamp their uh, uh, entire uh, political structure. They are connecting through various marches, various efforts have been made by Rahul Gandhi also. But however, uh, it seems that uh, the magic is not uh, uh, bringing them to power. But it is somehow a very good uh, signal for Congress as they are claiming power in Himachal Pradesh. At present, they are nearly 39 to, 4, 39 to 40 number of seats they are uh, going to claim. When it comes to BJP, which was in ruling, uh, they have, as far as the latest trends are showing us, uh, they are, you know, currently uh, only somehow managing 26 seats, which is below uh, the majority mark, you know, Asan. Okay, Dipendu. Mm. That's actually nice for PJP since they are taking all over Gujarat with their uh, striking win for the seventh time. And they are also going to form the government by letters by Monday or Tuesday. Uh, let's talk about Congress and up. Uh, I, what I want to ask or what I want to put up is that uh, Congress, yes, obviously they are doing good in um, Himachal Pradesh and they have felt in uh, 
Gujarat. But what about AAP as well? They are not doing good as well as in uh, both states. So what is the failure or what is the cause of this big failure? Yeah, before, before, before answering to the questions, I would like to uh, ask our PCR to directly connect to, to uh, what Himachal CM Jairam Thakur is saying. Uh, they have already considered defeat in this election. So let us first of all hear what they have to say. And then I have to a question. Asan. 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 और इस सारी चीज के लिए हम विश्लेषण करेंगे हम बैठेंगे चर्चा करेंगे और चर्चा करने के बाद फिर आने वाले समय में हम बेहतर कैसे कर सकते हैं देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी आज देश की नहीं दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी पार्टी है इसलिए हमारा केंद्रीय नेतृत्व भी इस पर विश्लेषण करेगा चर्चा करेगा और उसके साथ-साथ में हम सब लोग इस पर चर्चा करेंगे ये बात रिबेल्स के कारण है या बाकी है मोदी में पार्टी ने बहुत बढ़िया परफॉर्म किया 10 महीने से लगभग 9 सीटें अभी जो देख रहे हैं देखिए मैं मैं पूरे हिमाचल प्रदेश की जनता का आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और मंडी के लोगों ने मेरी भावनाओं को सम्मान दिया उनका मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और उन्हें बहुत बड़ा समर्थन दिया और ये भी मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि हिमाचल प्रदेश के इतिहास में उससे पहले पांच मुख्यमंत्री और भी रहे लेकिन किसी का भी जीतने का अंतर इतना नहीं रहा जितना उस राज्य विधानसभा क्षेत्र से भी सरसराज विधानसभा क्षेत्र से आपकी बात जो जीत का अंतर रहा है लगभग 38000 की जीत वहां पर दर्ज हुई है और इसलिए मैं समझता हूं यह मेरा दायित्व बनता है कि मैं सरसराज विधानसभा क्षेत्र की जनता का जिन्होंने मुझे बहुत स्नेह दिया प्यार दिया सहयोग दिया और मैं वहां पर चुनाव की कैंपेन के दौरान बहुत कम जा पाया नॉमिनेशन के लिए गया था उसके बाद आधे आधे घंटे के लिए तीन कार्यक्रम मैंने किए थे और उसके बावजूद भी उन्होंने बहुत बड़ा समर्थन दिया आज तक का सारा पिछला रिकॉर्ड सभी मुख्यमंत्री का तोड़ा क्या क्या ओपीएस एक बड़ा इशू रहा आपको लगता है देखिए इन सारी चीजों पे हम देखिए आप हम बिल्कुल तुरंत हम किसी निष्कर्ष पर नहीं जाएंगे कारण क्या रहे ये हम बहुत जल्दी नहीं और हम थोड़ा विचार Yes, Dibyantu, moving on to the question, what is the big failure of BJP in uh, Himachal Pradesh as well as uh, Congress failure in uh, Gujarat and about AAP? Yeah, yeah. Asan, as far as your, as your question is concerned, what can be the possible factors? As I said, uh, BJP is always... Uh, uh, doing a good show as far as Gujarat is concerned. Hmm. Gujarat is concerned and however, uh, uh, when it comes to the recent efforts as far as Congress is concerned, I have, I have seen during the one month of election campaigns in uh, Gujarat that the Congress top political leaders were not putting their efforts. There was no such extensive campaigns, you know, as far as Gujarat is concerned. When you, when you have seen that Prime Minister Narendra Modi was, you know, uh, was putting his efforts as far as election campaigns are concerned. He even conducted several road shows. In fact, his massive road show was 50 kilometer road show that he carried out just, uh, just a couple of days ago. Union Home Minister Amit Shah was once again, once again, you know, at it, uh, uh, putting his lot of efforts, and he was, you know, putting extensive campaigns against the uh, Congress. But Congress somehow were doubtful in this election that whether they will put up a good show in Gujarat as far as their performance is concerned. And that how somehow reflected during their, their you know, efforts also, during election came. There was no top political leaders who, who extensively you know, campaigned in, in Gujarat. Uh, and uh, and that, is, that, is, that is a probable reason, uh, Asan. Okay, uh, Dibyandu, uh, next, uh, as BJP is ruling in Gujarat and they are nearing to strike it for the seventh time, uh, let's uh, get to know more about BJP's uh, win in Gujarat.
Congress set to dethrone PJP from power in Himachal Pradesh as they have set its massive power and they are going to come back with a massive power again. Okay, Dibendu, uh, sadly, Kedrawal's magic has felt in Himachal Pradesh, but Congress, they are setting its leg again, and this shows that the 35 majority mark they have crossed. So, Congress is going to set its leg again. Uh, so, let's hear it more about Congress' uh, big win in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, well, Asan, Himachal Pradesh has... Uh been uh, uh, always uh, the voters interestingly they have a very interesting pattern as far as every election is concerned you know uh, just like uh, uh, another state that we have seen that is Uttarakhand so similarly to Uttarakhand uh, always you know the ruling party that's you know that uh, rules the state for five hours uh, sorry five years to be uh, precise so uh, in the election their anti-income anti factor you know always you know plays a significant role so this time also you know uh, uh, somehow people uh, were a bit a bit miffed with Jairam Thakur governance, you know. Uh, and uh, as far as the uh, this time, what uh, were, were things went wrong, that has to be you know uh, uh, that has to be analyzed by the BJP uh, government. You know, they uh, put a lot of efforts in Gujarat, but uh, even uh, we have seen. Union Home Minister Amit Shah and uh, Prime Minister Manendra Modi doing several rallies in Himachal where they say that Congress has you know, uh, pushed the Himachal Pradesh into underdevelopment. But however, during the last five-year regime of Jairam Thakur and uh, Manendra Modi himself ruling at the center, the double-engine government has you know, uh, uh, somehow managed Gujarat uh, to evolve, as, uh, sorry, to uh, Himachal as a progressive state, uh, so double engine government has, you know, somehow benefited Himachal. This time also they said the same things. But I, what the things I have noticed during this election campaign is that, that instead of, uh, you know, uh, highlighting that what will be the projects, what will be the schemes that they will take up as far as uh, BJP government coming back to power, more on the, the uh, no, the during the political rallies or election rallies, most of the times Narendra Modi, uh, significantly only targeted Congress's dynasty politics, Congress's uh, misgovernance, and he said that Congress pushed uh, Himachal Pradesh into a region where it remained underdeveloped for many years. But to be very honest, in now in today's day, if only you talk about opposition's uh, weaknesses, if you target opposition and you target the Gandhi Vadra family for dynasty politics, is, is, it, is that enough? to you know, attract viewers because nowadays that is not what you can expect from a country's prime minister or home minister to only target the opposition parties. Whether there are significant development projects that uh, Himachal Pradesh will uh, you know, uh, you know, get to see during the next government or not, uh, I was not personally not convinced with what the statements that came out from Narendra Modi or even Amit Shah or even to a certain extent Rajnath Singh or JP Nadda. So somehow, uh, the, uh, the people have tested BJP for five years, but uh, uh, in now it seems that uh, they are not going to uh, simply listen to what Modi says or Modi's promises are. So uh, they have wanted a change and they have given a chance to uh, Congress this time. But uh, that, is a, there is, that is a very interesting pattern that uh, Uttarakhand or uh, even Himachal always follows. When you've seen Veerbhadra Singh's uh, regime, after that Prem Kumar Dhumal came to power, and uh, no, so uh, you know, uh, the, the, there is a, you can say, flip-flop as far as uh, taking control of the state is concerned in Himachal Pradesh. So this time, uh, anti incumbency factor is uh, working for uh, Congress. Uh, BJP has been uh, rejected by the voters. And now it has to be seen whether Congress, this time, after uh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, they are getting a chance to rule the state of Himachal. Whether they will fulfill the promises or not, it has to be seen. But as I said, nowadays, uh, you know, only promises are only, you know, some agenda, some attacks on ruling pa opposition party, 
you know, and this kind, kind of jibe at uh, other parties, especially Congress, dynasty politics, these kind of statement ca uh, statements cannot, you know, attract today's modern, you know, uh, young uh, generation of voters. So a concrete plan and concrete uh, issues yes, uh, and agenda do, always do, need to be highlighted. So at uh, BJP, you know, Yes, so, Dibantu, we have to interrupt you for a moment because we have visuals coming in right now at this hour from uh, Himachal Pradesh Congress Chief. Let's hear what she has to say. And after that, we'll get back to you. और आप पार्टी को हर जगह से जैसे ये उसके लिए हम शिमला बैठे चंडीगढ़ बैठे कहीं ना कहीं बैठ के बात करेंगे ये कोई डर की बात नहीं है मैंडेट दिया है लोगों ने जता कर भेजा है हम लोगों को तो इसमें डरने की क्या बात है क्या डरने की बात है महिलाओं को हमने कहा कि हम 1500 महिलाओं को हर माह देंगे और युवाओं को हमने रोजगार देने की बात की है और इसी तरह से जो हमारी योजना थी मैनिफेस्टो में जो जो हमने बातें कही है उससे लोग बहुत खुश थे हमारे हिमाचल प्रदेश के किसान बागवान Yes, uh, Dibendu, uh, you were talking about Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh election. Let's continue from what you left before. Uh, uh, rather, now, uh, before coming to the analysis and what went wrong for uh, no, con Congress, uh, sorry, BJP in Himachal Pradesh, uh, uh, let us, you know, uh, you know go to, to some uh, recent results, you know. Uh, the recent result is coming out that one of the significant Congress leaders, Sudarshan Singh Bablu, uh, is, is uh, you know, has won the Chitpurni uh, Assembly seat. Uh, he has defeated Bhajpa's Balbir Singh, and another, another, another significant leader you can say from uh, Shimla Gramin seat, Vikramaditya. Uh, you know, also he has you know uh, won the seat. The seat is Shimla Gramin. Congress's another leader, Harshavardhan Chauhan, has also uh, see, you know, won the Shiloh seat by 382 votes, a, a very slender margin, you can say. And uh, he has uh, defeated his rival, Baldev Tomar. Hamirpur, Hamirpur is one of the uh, most uh, uh, prestigious seats as far as Himachal is concerned. So in uh, Hamirpur, Ashish Sharma, he's an independent candidate who has uh, won the seat. And there, the Vajpa MLA Narendra Thakur, who is the sitting MLA, incumbent MLA, has uh, bite the dust. Ashish Sharma has got nearly about 26,000 votes, and he has won this election by nearly 13,000 votes, you can say. So that is the latest result. Well, uh, Dipendu, sorry for the interruption again. We have um, new visuals coming in. Let's uh, look what they have to say. Modi <laughs> इससे एक टग ऑफ वॉर शुरू हो रहा है योजनाओं के ऊपर विचारधारा पे नहीं तो चिंता इस बात की होती है इसीलिए हमारी कोशिश रहती है कि हर लेवल पर भारतीय जनता पार्टी सेवा करे आम आदमी पार्टी को लेकर कितना चिंतित है बीजेपी देखिए आम आदमी पार्टी बिल्कुल एक नई पार्टी है और कहीं पर भी उसने अपनी गवर्नेंस प्रूव नहीं करी है ये एक वैक्यूम जो हो जाता है वैक्यूम के कोई ना कोई तो घुसेगा जैसे कोई तो घुसेगा जैसे मैं हमेशा कहता हूं कि राजनीति के अंदर युवाओं को आना अच्छे लोग नहीं आएंगे तो कोई दूसरे घुसेंगे तो वैसे ही जहां यस दिपेंद्र यू मे रिज्यूम So viewers, as per the trend, the Congress is set to dethrone PJP from power in Himachal Pradesh. Grenoll party takes dissent lead over PJP. Congress lead in 40, PJP leads in 25 seats in Himachal Pradesh. Now let's move with Dibendu and get to hear more from him. <laughs> Few moments ago, we showed what uh, outgoing Himachal Chief Minister Jairam Thakur had to say about this verdict. Uh, so he has already informed that he is going to tender his resignation in a while. He has conceded the defeat, and so uh, Jairam Thakur has said that he will tender his resignation to the governor in a short while from now. And you know, uh, uh, another thing that significant uh, statement that has come that is that Chhattisgarh Chief Minister. Bhupesh Bagel, who is a Congress leader, 
has said that you know they need to protect the MLAs. That means the 40 Congress MLAs. Now it's time for them to be protected, as the Congress is anticipating that some kind of horse trading uh, can be uh, done in Himachal Pradesh to to you know swing the power in balance. Uh, to the to, towards BJP, it's, it's kind of acquisition that he has made that there might be some possible house trading. So uh, the Congress is saying that they is, they are going to protect these 40 winning MLAs have, and they will uh, prevent any possible horse trading. You know, so uh, so far you know uh, Congress is you know ahead in 39 uh, seats. Uh, they have already won 25 and 14 seats are there in uh, they are in leading. So total 39 seats they are clearly uh, winning as far as the last voting trends are seeing us. And on the other hand, uh, BJP has all won four seats actually. Uh, four uh, seats they have you know, already captured, but they are leading only in other 21 seats. So that means again the tally is somewhere coming around 25 seats. So uh, uh, they are uh, in no possibility to you know go towards the magical figure of 35, there's still, you know, 10 seats short. So now uh, the Congress's anticipation or, you know, their, uh, that what uh, Bhupesh Baghel has said, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it holds a very significant that there might be some possible horse trading. So the statement is coming from Bhupesh Baghel is that they will protect the Congress MLS so that, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, horse trading can be prevented. And in, uh, once again, I would like to remind our viewers that Congress has so far won 25 seats. They're leading in 14. So. Uh, in Himachal, the total number of seats are coming to 39. I would like to once again update the figures on screen. Congress has won 39 seats. BJP has, you know, won. Uh, latest update is showing that they have won 13. Uh, so uh, their tally is updated. 13 seats they have won and leading in uh, another 13. So 26 seats are going to BJP in Himachal, 39 to Congress, and independents have won two seats and, and leading in one. So in three seats are going to independent candidates. But significantly, I would like to add one more thing that Aam Admi Party, which made this election a three-cornered election, you know, uh, since they entered into the fray, both in Gujarat and in Himachal, but somehow in the both states, AAP hasn't been able to gain any momentum. Only, only uh, uh, they are, in Gujarat, they are somehow managing five seats, but Himachal Pradesh, AAP has not managed to open any 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 account they are still nil so 39 to congress 24 to tw beg your pardon 26 to, BG, to bjp and three seats are going to to others uh, as far as Himachal is concerned, Asan. Okay, okay. Well, Dibento, thank you so much for all the inputs that you have uh, brought in uh, and also for the update. Okay, so. Yes, now we will hear that Congress has dethroned BJP from power in Himachal and they are set to regain its power. So the Grand Old Party will take its lead and BJP will be gone from Himachal Pradesh. As per latest update, Congress is leading in 40, BJP in 26 and sadly, casual ma magic has failed in Himachal Pradesh. So viewers, apni kan huni ke na aro dikhi ke na aisha. So Gujarat laga election si the bishi quite clear as na that can that PJP pra government to uthai ke na loi chawale ase. So here people have made up their minds to further continue the journey of development in Gujarat and tan laga PJP laga yate government form krubale ase. Of course we know that, but yate this is what. Yes, Gujarat Laga Chief Minister Patel is saying that we humbly accept the mandate of the people. Every work of BJP is committed to public service. Koi na, tai pray to khata hando koi she after election commission pra trend can announce kuri dia pichile that BJP pra Gujarat the uthai na loi jawale se itu laga opporte. So Gujarat ni mite ekta kikobo 
we all know that uh, Gujarat is the home state of Chief Minister, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So, where he has done lot campaigns and Gujarat to Tahan Prathai na loi jabo. As well as uh, Himachal Pradesh to be itya dak ti do 39 seats loi kina Congress pra lead kriya se koi kina iti chanai diya se. So, itya mandate laga verdict yate pra khatam kriya se. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dimapur viewers, we are on channel number 996.